Raf Esparza, podcast question. Do you want to lead off this week with John Joan test positive for cocaine or completely independent of that, John Jones is a D bag? What do you think? Ke- Kevin, what are you doing here? The podcast. We're doing our weekly comedy podcast, Verbal Tap. We've been doing it for no, two years. No, no, we're not. Why the hell are you dressed up? You look great. Why are you in a suit? This is all right here. This is for the talk show, the, the other thing I do without you. Oh, I thought that not canceled? No, we're not canceled. We're just on the net for the next three months. Yeah, no, I get it. Listen, uh, we got to get to the show right now, so why don't you just continue doing what you're doing? Okay, real quick. Uh, the second one on the Jones thing, or were you cool with the uh, whatever? Have fun. We will. Raph, can I stay? No, not at all. Why? You always do this. I'm deleting you. One show. Whoop. Oh, okay. Guys, let's uh, let's stop digging around. Let's get straight to the show. Yeah. Welcome to the online edition of Early Late Night. Yes, that is right. Early Late Night is now streaming on the web. Officially making us the hippest talk show of 2006. What do you guys think of our new set? Yeah, as you may notice, we are doing the show live from my apartment, uh, only because my parents' basement was unavailable. Uh, but you know, if you really miss the experience of seeing our show live at Flappers, uh, feel free to start at 30 minutes late and send me $10. <laughs> and don't worry, a waitress will come around shortly to enforce a two-item minimum as well. I hope you like pizza fries. Before we go any further, let's welcome your friend and mine, the announcer of our show, Mr. Austin Stack. Yeah, I don't know how to use Skype. I'll see you next week. Well, all right then. Let's get straight to the news. Oh, God, in some sad news, Fox canceled its teen cancer drama, Red Band Society. Yeah, in a statement, a representative for Fox said they weren't canceling the show. They're just not going through with any more treatments. The thing is, they're not going to go through with any more treatments. You see what I'm saying? Like, the joke works on two different levels. On the first level, we have... Wait, I'm sorry. What are you saying? What are you trying to tell? Shit. You guys are great. It's a great joke, though. You can't deny it. You think it's a great joke, too, right? No one cares. It was also announced that Fox may bring back its hit series, The X-Files. Or are they? Uh, Raph, Raph, can I do one? Can I try one? Can I try a little? No, what are you still doing here? Oh, come on. Live a little. Let your friend in. I told you, I shut off the feature that lets you reject my calls. I told you, you were allowed to be in the cold open, not the rest of the show. I just want to try one. I've got like one. That's a stupid rule. That's a stupid rule. Let me try one joke. I'm not going to do a hard seven on that hilarious stuff I have about religion. If I give you one monologue joke, where you leave? Probably. Good enough. All right, do it. A recent outbreak of measles has been traced back to Disneyland this week, potentially making your trip through the second happiest place on Earth a little bumpy. All right. Okay, that's good. Don't dance. I feel great about that joke. Kevin Phillips, everybody. There was big controversy in the NFL over the weekend. The Patriots were accused of deflating the balls used in the AFC Championship game. That's funny. I thought the only team with the deflated set of balls were the Indianapolis Colts. After a hard campaign, Jennifer Aniston failed to receive an Oscar nomination for her movie, Cake. (laughs) So I uh, guess she doesn't get to have her cake and eat it too. Up top. Boom! Got her. You know, guys, the Oscars is a huge time. Uh, there's a lot of actresses who are nominated, a lot of actors who are nominated, and uh, we're just we're so excited that we here at Early Late Night are fortunate enough to have a live feed of the minority luncheon for all of the minority actors and actresses who were nominated for Oscars this year. Let's go ahead and cut to that right now. And we're back. And that'll do it for our monologue. Let's go ahead and do the walkover. Yep. And I'm at my desk. Guys, it is so cool to have you guys uh, checking us out here at EarlyLateNight.com. We're so excited to be doing these web-exclusive shows. And I want to thank you guys for uh, taking the ride with us. We're going to try and make things fun, festive, do some really fun things that are new. 
I'm going to keep saying the word fun because I think that's a thing. Oh, you get, as many of you guys know, the Golden Globe Awards were held last weekend, where the hottest stars in Hollywood took to the stage to deliver their acceptance speeches. But how did they do? We'll separate the studs from the duds in another edition of the early late night staple, Speech Police. Hello and welcome. Tonight I'm joined by the editor of popfracas.biz, Raquel Dupont. Thank you so much for being here, Raquel. You're welcome. And because Speech Police isn't just a name, also on the panel, we have from the Schomburg Police Department, Officer Bart McManus. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, do I really need to be here? The segment is called Speech Police Officer. You know what you signed up for. Well, actually, I don't really... Speech uh... the first. Gina Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin. Although, that's not what I hear. Gina's a Hollywood newcomer who fought back tears to thank her loved ones. Only one problem, Gina. We can't understand you. We don't speak Spanish here. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's America. And she's brown. <laughs> <laughs> she's different. Hakel, your thoughts. Honey, um... <clears throat> I don't know how you say honey in Spanish. Honey, it's great that you had people to support you along the way. But when you can't keep it together, okay, you end up, okay, looking like, okay, a blubbering mess. So, mm. Absolutely. Officer McManus. Uh... The subject in question is a female, Hispanic, approximately uh, 18 to 25 years of age. Uh, at the time, she appeared very emotional, but not a threat to herself or to those around her. Speech number two. George Clooney accepting the Cecil B. DeMille Award. By the time Clooney was done thanking his wife, quipping about the Sony hack, and paying tribute to Lauren Bacall, the Hollywood Foreign Press should have given him a different honor. The Cecil B. De Boring Award. Hakel, your thoughts. Seriously? I was bored out of my mind. I felt like I was watching Syriana. For someone who is reportedly a humanitarian, why are you trying to kill me with how long this speech is, George? Ouch. Officer McManus. I think that's the guy who was Batman. An excellent point. And finally, speech number three, Billiam Bobbert Thornton. Ugh. He was going for short and sweet, but ended up, surprise, surprise, coming off creepy and off-putting. What did you think, Hawkell? Absolutely, Raph. I mean, he thanked literally nobody. How am I supposed to know what he won the award for? Was it Sling Blade? Was it the one with Halle Berry's boobs? I don't even I'm know. I'm sorry, but what do you people want from these guys? I mean, their speeches are too short, they're too long. I mean, uh, what do you want? What we want, officer, is for you to arrest Gina Rodriguez, George Clooney, and Billiam Bobbert Thornton. Arrest them for what? For giving speeches that were not entertaining. Ugh, go. All right, okay. I'm going. This has been Speech Police. Bye. Whoosh. This has been two ties the whole time. Look at this. Wah, 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 wah. Whoa. Oh, it's tied. I really am going to cut off my circulation. I want to thank you guys so much for coming with us on a very fun first episode. We are so excited to do these shows for you guys, and we hope you'll you'll keep up with us. You'll check us out on uh, Early Late Night, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, on Foursquare. You can even uh, check our Yelp reviews. I'm sure we're great there, too. And make sure to keep up with us at EarlyLateNight.com. We're going to be keeping lots of new posts and new updates on there. And uh, we're so excited, and we can't wait to do these weekly installments for you guys. They've been a blast to put together so far. We've got a lot of surprises coming up for you in the future. So for tonight, thank you guys for coming. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. Don't we normally, like, don't we have, like, a song that we normally do? The... <laughs> Ch 
All right, we can't afford it anymore. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys next week.